Tonight, entire neighborhoods in Bowling Green, Kentucky, unrecognizable. The second floor apartment completely blown away by the tornado. With Jennifer Locke still inside. I heard the train coming. The, you know, they say that, that sounds like a freight train, so I heard the train coming. And I just hunkered down and, and stayed there for a little bit until it passed. And then I was stuck. I was trapped in my bedroom for two hours until they came. Christopher Hudgens is combing through pieces of his brother's home. It flew off its foundation and came crashing down. So your, your brother and his wife were inside the bathroom when literally the house was lifted the off the ground. The entire house was lifted off of the foundation. In hard hit Warren County, the death toll is now at 11 and climbing. Hundreds of homes and businesses flattened as a powerful tornado unleashed winds of 150 miles per hour. It traveled so fast, Frank Withrow and Vicki Boards barely made it out alive. Family members showing us how they survived. His dad was actually in this room right here trying to get out as well. And as he got up off of the couch, the whole wall just collapsed on him. In nearby Western Kentucky University, this live camera may have captured the moment the tornado made impact. The school canceled graduation ceremony Saturday. Administrators saying every student on campus stayed safe from the storm, but a young man died while at home off campus. Today, the mayor of Bowling Green sharing a grim Green. assessment uh, on the road ahead. There's a lot more that has to happen. It's going to be a while before we pull ourselves out of this bully. It is a major catastrophe. The storm hitting hard and moving out in minutes, leaving behind a massive cleanup ahead. I never expected to see anything like this. A community still in shock, but jumping into action to help. And Kathy joins us now from Bowling Green. How is the community handling this disaster, Kathy? Well, Kate, even if folks haven't been directly impacted by the tornado, they want to help. Many residents are coming in from near and far, volunteering to pick up the pieces, begin the rebuilding process, even offering food and supplies to anyone who needs it. Kate? Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.